Hello and welcome to Property Investment Blueprint Podcast. I'm here with Daniel Konieski. Daniel is from Poland and lives in Belfast for over 16 years. He's an award-winning serial business coach, international speaker who has performed in Dubai, United Kingdom, Germany, Spain, France, Poland. The list goes on alongside great inspirational speakers, business coaches, and mentors like Andy Harrington, Bob Proctor, Jack Canfield, and Jordan Belfort, the world of Wall Street. The list absolutely goes well. I'm super excited. Daniel has worked with companies like HSBC, Audi, Mercedes, re receiving a Hall of Fame and award-winning seller of over 10 million pounds in product and services. Daniel is also a serial real estate investor with over 21 million pound property investment portfolio. He has been featured in various newspapers and news channels like The Mail, the BBC, TVN in Poland, The Guardian, The Times, the list goes on. Daniel is a business coach as well as a personal coach who has coached and mentored well-known politicians around the world internationally, celebrities, athletes like Podolsky, Zuma, and business leaders. Daniel is a business and personal coach who has coached and mentored well-known politicians throughout the world, celebrities, athletes like Podolsky, Zuma, and business leaders. I love your tenacity, energy, and the mission you've embarked on, Daniel. And, and I am honored to have you on the Property Investment Blueprint podcast. Welcome, Daniel. Really nice to have you on. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Rahim. Uh, and uh, thank you so much, all you guys. Have five. And listen, guys, I've achieved this because... I've got rules and I stick to them, but I will tell you them on this podcast. Yes, then I'm Fantastic, really happy. Daniel. Thank you. Thank you. The story isn't good enough unless we know where you came from, how you started, where you are, like literally being on stage with people like Bob Proctor, Andy Harrington, and, uh, and all these amazing people, Jordan Belfort. Can you tell the audience how you started and how you've been able to scale your business to that level? Yeah. Uh... <laughs> how long time we have okay uh, when my wife tell me 10 minutes it's gonna be one hour but that's okay um i started uh, as a polish guy who didn't have a goals didn't have a dreams the only dream was to get out from this earth and i had suicide thoughts i had depression because people were labeling me you're gonna be like your father you're gonna end up in prison and you're going to be like your father, you're going to end up in prison. You're going to be like your father, you're going to end up in prison. And they thought they're going to scare me that I'm not going to be that person. But I actually nearly was in prison. And I had the suicide thoughts and I had depression. Uh, and then I met a lady who told me about this personal development. <laughs> I says, I have a right, I have a good, I have a, I'm not disabled. I thought Person development is for disabled people. Long time ago, like 2000, 2000, that was 2000 when I met this lady and I was cleaning her house and she told me, here's 50 złotych. And she told me, here is Daniel 50 złotych. I don't know if I have 50, but let me see. Yeah, I have. <laughs> here is 50 złotych. And uh, you can go and buy beers and chase women on the nightclubs. That time she didn't know I was dating her uh, daughter. <laughs> uh, <laughs> she was totally rich lady, like, wow. Uh, she was driving Mercedes S-Class 600. Like mm -hmm. mafia people were driving those cars that time in Poland, you know. And or she says, or you go downstairs, you buy the book of personal development. And this book will change your life. I'm like, okay. I know that when she was young and her parents were a little bit rich, they give her money before she went to university in Australia. They give her money for traveling all over the world. And yeah. she said, and she told their parents that she go to travel, but she actually took all the money. She went to uh, Russia. She bought the beer machines 
and she opened the factory when she was 18 in Poland, beer machine, wow. beer factory. For that, she had like, wow. I said, I oh, shit, I need to listen to her because she meant something to me. Then I went to this personal development. And she told me, read the back of the book. And that says, creating abundance, key to happiness, creating money, energy, wrote this book. I'm like, wow. Someone was really on the joint or yeah. take some mushrooms. I used to eat mushrooms or I snow the gear stuff. You know, I was addicted to all of that. Yeah. yeah. And I remember I took the book and I'm going to the, to pain and I'm like 48 zloty. That's flopping two grams of my gear. Yeah. <laughs> I said, no way. Yeah. And guess yeah. what I did? I put it back and I came back and she says, did you buy the book? And I said, no, uh, I didn't. She says, this book or this 50 zloty can change one day party and chasing women or this book, when you apply the book, can change the whole of your life and even other people's lives. It's your choice. I'm like, fuck. Okay. I, I went there. There's a fight with the lady because it's two grams. Yeah. And okay, I bought it. Two two zloty. That time I was smoking two box of uh, mods. There, it's equivalent to cheaper Marlboro Red, <laughs> two yeah. box a day. And I says I don't even have for my cigarettes, but that's okay. Put it in the pocket, two zloty. And guess what I did with the book? <laughs> chuck it up, uh, chuck it in the shelves. No. Yeah, it's called a rich shelf. Yeah, I put it on the shelf, and I'm stoned. And I'm looking at this book. I'm like, shit, there's two grams lining on my shelf and I didn't apply it. And I start reading and apply it. And the book was like, choose your goal. I said, kill myself. And the book is like telling me, if you have a, a negative goal, ask someone to create positive one. I'm like, okay, I'm going to call my auntie. What do you want? That you will get out from this junky land And you will go to meet some people in England. I want you to speak English. I said, okay. Then I put English flag on my uh, on my wall and I visualize some guy speaking to me like, you know, we call them potato people, in English people. From my point of view, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, you know, I just visualize. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I know you're watching this podcast, but that's right. the, like, sort of was the background. Like the irony. Or... I like the irony. I like this one. <laughs> Yeah. And the cut story is short. I've applied the book um, and fast moving forward. I'm in Northern Ireland. I didn't know the Northern Ireland is not England, by the way. <laughs> I'm really bad with geography. And then um, and I'm working uh, for uh, the Cora blind system, building blinds. Yeah. And I still had a little bit of Uh, what you call a hooligan attitude still in me even i was reading the books i was still what the uh, you know still negative yeah. like because i used to fight with police and all that stuff yeah, yeah. Uh, and i told one lady of what you want to tell me blah 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 polish girl who was the manager sort of and they kicked me yeah. out from the factory but i was the guy mm -hmm. who went half part time i was building blinds i was really bad i was shit at it mm -hmm. and The other half a day, I was spending in office helping people uh, getting the bank accounts open, um, getting the houses. And we had an agency, a state agency. I can't tell the name, but they were charging us for the flights. And they, they took off our passports and they says, no, you cannot work anywhere else. I'm like, really? They took off passports, but they were stupid enough. They didn't know we have Polish IDs, which are like a passport. I went to another agency. I says, hello, hi, I'm working in the blind factory. I need to make extra money. Uh, can I work for you? Yes. Do you have an ID? I says, yes, I do. Here's my ID. She didn't ask for passport. I give her ID. And then I, I was cleaning toilets in a health center and I was making two jobs because the other agency was taking 135 pounds per week from us wow. to live in a house, three bed house. And we were like 16 of us on the double beds, etc., etc. It was crazy. It was crazy. 
And Most sometimes they didn't pay full electric or gas. And we were, you know, we didn't have even <laughs> this. And I says, I went to the owner of the factory. I says, listen, I've got an idea. If you rent yourself those 50 houses, then um, you will have 50 tenants. You will charge us three. 300 pounds, 400 pounds, that time was rent per house, yeah? But mm -hmm. still good. Mm -hmm. Plus, uh, you're going to have guys on the contract and you don't have to pay so much money to the rec recruitment agency, yeah? Because they were paying like double, like 480 yeah. pounds per hour. They were paying around 10 pounds to the agency. She says, wow, mm -hmm. you're a smart guy. I say, let's do this. Mm -hmm. And when we create this, that the... The, this decora blind system was moving forward they were putting people in the houses i got them into they had proper houses you know electric everything fancy stuff was there and i went and i did this hooligan stuff with this lady and and i didn't have extent contract with decora but i knew i'm a cleaner already cleaning toilets i can get another job yeah. And I went to my cousin. I says, Adrian, I went with you. Uh, I, I, I brought you here. You're not anymore junkie. Uh, you're earning money. Uh, I'm earning money. I just lost the house. I'm homeless. Can you help me, please? Yeah. He says, no problem, no problem. Then he's, he went to his friends who's supposed to move with him. And the day in the canteen, everyone is happy that they have a houses. I'm homeless. And... My cousin come to me and says, Daniel, sorry, you cannot live with me because they didn't agree. I'm like, but you promised me I can sleep in your flopping garage. Just bring me. No, you can't. I cry and I say, I will prove them all that I will earn a hundred times more than each of you in this factory. I promise you. And I went on the floor and I says, I'm going to do it no matter what. I'm so grateful now to my cousin that he did this to me, but that time I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> but I was homeless, you know, sleeping on the bus stops and different places. And really? and and this was in, in Northern Ireland, right? Or that Poland? was in Northern Ireland in Northern Lisbon. Ireland. Yeah, close to Belfast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. 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 That was in Northern Ireland. And uh, cut story short, I get another job. I got paid three times more than the Cora Blind system in creative compasses. And guess who first came to me to get him a job? My cousin. I says, mm -mm. I forgive, but I don't forgot. <laughs> oh, and cut story short, um, then I list goes on and on and on and on. And I'm working like hell in, a, I just was working in this creative i was making 700 pounds per week that was big money in 2006 i think or five yeah. something like that mm -hmm. that was big money and I, but i was there like 16 hours and even the manager says you need to put the bed and just sleep here <laughs> um and i remember one guy just i says wow we are working with hot staff and and one i was a press operator and the press came down and nearly killed the guy with seven tons. And I says, wow. I'm getting out from that. And he says, Daniel, this is our dream job. We're going to here be here for at least 25 years till I'm retired. And I says, but look, it's nice weather. It's three o'clock. We are in overalls, 60 degrees, 50 degrees. You know, we are sweating. This is like, no, this is not my dream. He says, for at least 25, you have to. I says, I will up and prove you, blah, blah, blah. The same story. <laughs> and I set myself a goal to get out from that rat race of being employed. And that was my trigger point when I was start learning from Bob Proctor that time. Mm -hmm. And Bob Proctor was promoting a book called Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. I became his consultant and I was doing Think and Grow Rich course in, in Belfast. And, yeah, yeah. and one of the chapters, chapter number seven, did you read the book, by the way? Yeah, I've read the book. I, I read it once every year. Oh, I, I happy days. Yeah, my, because I, that's the rule. I listen to it in my Audible every, every year. Good. 
and and the the chapter seven is decision yes or no yeah. and everyone yeah, was yeah. taking decision this girl wants to do this this guy did it i says my goal that time i was working for unite the union i was earning like forty five thousand that time that was good money with the with the car and all and i says i gonna start doing something amazing like property because i always want to do property and then i went on the seminar and I went on the seminar in Dublin and I invest the rest of my money uh, to, to just get there. Yeah. Like, uh, and I said, okay, it was, it was a couple thousand. And I remember I'm sitting, eating lunch and there were those guys, oh, I just bought portfolio of 15 houses. I'm doing flips and I'm going to make so much millions. The other guy, yeah, I just bought the we. We estate, uh, terraced houses, I'm doing flips. And I'm sitting, oh my God, they're making millions here. And I'm poor man making it maybe 3000 pounds per month. Oh my God, poor me, yeah? And I remember Tony Robbins, physiology first, change your physiology. I changed my physiology and I start smiling, yeah? And like, and eating. And then one guy, Hugh, Daniel, what do you do for a living? I said, yeah, I'm a representative for Unite the Union. I have 5,000 Polish people, uh, red meat factories, da -da 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 -da, and I start pitching, you know? And I says, I can help you get in front of those 5,000 people. Maybe we can sell them something. And he was like, yeah, I've got 600 properties. Let's do this. Call me and, and you will fly to me to Scotland and we will do the big business. I'm like, okay, great. I took the card. Next day, I'm calling. Hello, hi, it's Daniel Konieczny. Oh, it's the secretary. Okay. Next day, hello, secretary, secretary. And then I'm like, persistent chapter from Fing and Grow Rich. Be persistent yeah. like a KFC guy from the Fing and Grow Rich, yeah? Mm -hmm. 1001 knows before he got first yes, yeah? Okay. <laughs> long journey and i was calling him every morning at 7 30 in the morning hello hi it's daniel konieczny i met you on the seminar i know you want to do properties i have a way how we can sell properties one too many i attend one of the seminars i have a system with andy harrington i can help you and i was doing this guess for how long every day even saturday and sunday wow Guess how many? I would say maybe for a month. Month and a half. Month and a half. Wow. And then he called me and goes, first word, you must be persistent, mother F. Yeah, you know what I mean? I don't want to swear, yeah, yeah. basically. Yeah, of course we know. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, and he says, you must, you must some, you are like uh, really persistent. Okay, fly to me tomorrow. I have a um, schedule eight eight thirty. You can be in my uh, 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 in the evening. Yeah, I'm like okay, but I remember my uh, now wife, but that time girlfriend was telling no, don't go to him, don't call him. He's laughing from you. You stupid. I call this little duck. The noises. The and noises. Off. Yeah, yeah, noise. I don't listen to ducks, even it's my wife now, yeah. but that time everyone was against what I want to do. And I was like, okay, okay. And I remember when I, when he answered, I thought, look, he answered. So what now you're going to spend 450 pounds for flying to Scotland because he has a time for you. I'm like, yes, maybe she's right. But oh. if she's right, everyone is telling fly this way. I fly opposite because I've learned this from the top rich guys. That's what they did. I'm like, yes, I'm paying for flying. And cut story short, I flew to Hugh. We, we did the uh, Airshare, Kirmanog, uh, Greenshare, Dundee, Perf. We were selling properties with little and no deposit. We create the system where we were getting repossessed houses. You know, those times when the pandemic no, not the yeah. pandemic, when the recession 2008, was. Yeah, 2008, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and how I come up with this idea was funny because I was renting the house myself with Dorothy that time. And we put like 
built-in wardrobes, you know, nice ceilings, etc. Because we Polish people, by the way, this is for your audience, Polish mm -hmm. people used to think when they rent the house, they're going to live there for the rest of their life because that's our psychology in Poland. Then I put, mm -hmm. well, I invest money into this house. And the guy came and says, uh, you need to move out because your landlord just lost 30 houses and you need to move out. I says, I'm moving out. You're stupid. I'm not moving out. I just spent so much money. No, no. He says, if you don't move out, <laughs> they will move you out because it's a bank. That's it. Wow. That's crazy. And then I realized how many Polish people had exactly the same issue. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh my God. And then I come up with idea. We Polish people, we have a good credit score because we work like hell, like overtimes, we pay in the bills. But the other issue, we Polish people, we go to Poland and we go, yeah, rent the Mercedes. Yeah, the best holiday. We spend all the money on holiday, Poland, to show off. And then we come back and a whole year working to get another holiday. I knew they don't have deposits. And I go, oh, and that time I was already coaching some of my friends, clients who had money. And I went to them. I said, listen, your money is sitting on your bank. Maybe you get maximum 2%. I will give you so much percent. I cannot tell this because this is still know-how. But I told them I'm going to give you more money if you lend me the money. And we will, we will do the flips and we will give the deposit to the Polish people. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Now it's quite familiar. It's not in a, even know-how. But, but that's how we start getting even people from other backgrounds who had money in their banks, but they didn't know what to do. I helped them basically generate more money for those guys. And I help Polish people buy houses with little deposit or no deposit. They were called gifted deposit. You probably know yeah. this stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah. And that's how we sold over 100 houses wow. in one year. In wow. one year, we sold over 100 houses because what we were doing was, I was doing seminar using Andy Harrington stuff, as you know, the, mm -hmm. the award winning 10 million. And yeah. basically what we were doing was uh, I was bringing as many people as I can to Dundee, let's say, in Scotland. They were all uh, coming for the seminar for free. And then I was telling them basically, okay, if you want to have a house in this area, etc., we have already, and we were doing leaflet drops, you know, this uh, yeah. probably all those techniques, but maybe yeah. this is value for the guys who are watching this now. Or yeah. maybe not. I'm not sure. But no, it is valuable. What you're saying there is absolutely yeah. on. people. Okay, people, and we did the little drops, it. and we got yeah. the uh, already uh, uh, properties from repossession from the banks. And we were telling, guess what? We will put double glazing. We will put whatever walls you want, whatever tiles you want, whatever bathrooms you want. And they were like, oh, oh my god, this is better than the other state agent. And they were coming to us. Yeah. and then we were giving referrals then we find out as well that some people telling lies then yeah. what we did we says okay if you could really commit it pay 300 pounds that we do the uh, what do you call fact find you know the the stuff yeah, yeah, yeah. research you yes yeah is mm -hmm. it called fact find yeah yeah fact find yes yeah yeah fact find yeah and then we had like less uh i would call time wasters <laughs> because sometimes you can spend time really someone wants it but they mess up some o2 or whatever mobile phone and they're not gonna get the uh, uh what do you call it? good the houses yeah, yeah they yeah. won't be able to get a mortgage yes yes after after i create even system for fixing their uh what do you call cre credit history to st start getting them uh, the houses because that's my uh intention like your intention is to help people uh changing their lives with the house or with their mindset or whatever my intention the biggest intention was the millions or was the helping them because i knew i had the same problem for myself and that's yeah. it that they can have their own house and they can pay their own mortgage instead of paying somebody else mortgage wow that was my goal yeah 
brilliant yeah, that's quick story. Brilliant. that <laughs> that was really really good and very very informative there from being a cleaner to reading that personal um, uh, development book to moving to northern ireland to doing what you're doing here fantastic uh but what i wanted to ask you that i know you've got that emotion that brings that epiphany moment in what you were doing right but what really triggers you to say, okay, now I'm not going to like work with an estate agency. I want to take my own financial situation into your own hands. I know your cousin said you're not going to live in his house. And then he said, I'm going to do this. But what really actually makes you do it? Because there's a reason why you said, you know, I want to start my property investment journey. I want to start investing in properties. So what is that trigger point? If you could summarize that. My trigger point, why was the property... I, that time I was reading Robert Kiyosaki. He was talking about property. He started planting some seed in my head that I should have the properties. I didn't have a clue. I didn't know how. And then I said, okay, this is the property, some stuff in Dublin. I'm going there. I could be, because my little dog was telling me, don't go there. People are going to laugh. You don't have a clue even about the rent and mathem- calculator is your enemy you cannot calculate etc and i says i then remember bob proctor which is now and my business partner from the movie the secret he says uh it doesn't matter what they think it's the matter how you think about yourself absolutely and i said yeah i'm the i'm the guy who is the biggest in the monopoly I used to play Monopoly game, you know, the Monopoly stuff. And you have the houses and then you have hotels. Da, da, da. Yeah. And I was always and always in the hotels. Like, yeah. And I, I and and the, the cash flow stuff really impact me as well. You know, the game cash flow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I says, I'm going there. I'm ready with the game. I just have to bring from my 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 game into physical world. That's the only part is not real here. <laughs> Right. And I went there, I did my job, I called my business partner for one and a half month every day at 7.30 and I succeed. And I think when you plant the seed in your head, you need to test the seed. Is it, uh, is it with you? Is it fulfilling you? Is it fulfilling others? I learned this from Bob Proctor as well that I shouldn't come from the program, I, 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 going to have the best life. How we can have the best life. How we, 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 we can have the best life, expand, help others. Then I change my mindset from I to how we can work together. Yes. And this, I think those two trigger points, the plant the seed and and the programming from how I can become millionaire, how we can together make money and become millionaires and help others become millionaires or financial free. Yeah. And I still yeah. have the clients calling me saying, Daniel, I'm so grateful because in 2008, I bought a house from you. And now I just pay off my last because I told them how to uh, pay extra, extra, extra and get ready of the whole mortgage. And now they say, I'm owner of the whole house. And now I'm buying second and they're already doing some, you know, <laughs> yeah, what well I do, done. what do you do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You see, I, I really, I really relate to what you just said there about you calling your, now your business partner for over a month, say one and a half month. For me, I will tell you how mine actually happened. So I quit my job as well, similar to the reasons why you did. Okay. Um, getting into stuff I don't know. I needed, I knew I hated to work for people. I had to quit. So I ended up looking at a strategy called rent to rent. Well, this is when you rent the property and then you rent it room by room basis. So I thought it was going to be easy. I thought, oh, property is going to be easy, stuff like that. But guess what? Literally, I struggled and struggled and struggled. It took me several months, several months to get my first property deal. But okay. you know what I did not stop doing is what you just said, the persistence. I did not stop looking. I did not give up, right? People think I'm crazy. They said, why am I wasting my time? I'm working seven, eight hours a day. And I sat on my computer until one in the morning looking at properties deal. I never had, right? And my landlord was saying, I'm wasting my time because I promised him I'll get him a deal. He said, Raheem, it's been six months. I haven't had any deal, right? So surely what you're doing is wrong, right? 
And people think I was crazy, but eventually that seven months, I got my first property. But the, but the thing I did not do is to give up, right? It's persistence. So I relate to what you're saying there. That, that really, really helped me. And guess what? Within those five, after the seven months, in about five months, I was able to acquire 17 properties, right? In a very short period of time. And I was acquiring these properties, Daniel. I didn't even have money to pay for them, right? I didn't have money to pay. But because I was persistent, committed, and have a vision, like I like what we just did before we started the podcast. You took me through a mindset session, which is mm -hmm. really, really good. Because I was visualizing what, what I was getting. When people ask me, how many properties do you have? I said, I have 21 properties. I have zero. Yes. Because in my head, I have it already. I just need to go and get it. Right? And guess what? By the end of that year, I was able to, I was able to acquire over 21 properties. Right? Because in my head, I have it already. Because the mind does not distinguish what's, what's real and what's fake. What's wrong? It's yes. whatever you feed it. Right? Yes. I learned that from a great guy called Tony Robbins. Okay? He said, just visualize what you want to have pretend like you have it and then get it make it happen draw a road yes. like what you did to me like what you did just now you said walk three step ahead visualize what you want to get and walk back start doing it right yes so it really relates to me it really hits me hard i like that so really really well done so yeah. i know yeah carry on yeah but the same thing i've applied when i realized one and a half month, I can be persistent and sell 100 houses and have an amazing portfolio till now. What I can do? And I remember 2006, I watched the movie called The Secret. And I said, I'm not going to meet this guy. I'm going to become business partner with him, the Bob Proctor. Yeah. And people are like, crazy. He's a movie star. He's a multimillionaire from Canada. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> F off. I'm taking action now and I'm going for it. Guess how ma many or how long took me to become business partner with him? It might be maybe two months. Give more, please. <laughs> maybe, maybe seven or eight months or maybe a year. Took me five years. Wow. Flopping five years, five years. And I'm in the Munich in Germany. And I haven't got a clue still how I became business partner with him. I'm going seminars. I'm doing blah, blah, blah. I already, I'm happy that I'm making money on the properties <laughs> because without properties, I wouldn't have the money for going for Bob Proctor. Mm -hmm. And because one of his seminars was like $16,000, you know, um, then I'm in the Munich and my friend who's the speaker with Bob Proctor, he's holding the book called you were born rich by Bob Proctor. I don't have it here in my office. It's in my house because I was doing a webinar about this. And, and he's having the book. I'm like, I've got an idea. I'm going to go give me this book. I'm going to go get the book. And I'm going to translate the book. And Bob Proctor is going to become my business partner. This is amazing. Thank you, Stephen. And Stephen says, no, I cannot give you those books because I'm going to be on the stage and I need those five books for the people in the audience. I cannot give you, a no, I cannot give you. I says, please, this is my dream. This is what meant to be. It's Munich. I, I flew so long with you, blah, blah, blah. She says, no, you know what I did? And sometimes you have to do this. I stole the book from him. <laughs> I run to my room and I hide it. And, and, and he was angry on me. Okay. Sometimes you have to just grab it and do it. Like it doesn't matter what others will tell you. And I went to Bob Proctor. I remember he's on the Blackberry hiding uh, uh, from, from people with the banners and playing with his Blackberry. And I'm like, hello, Bob Proctor. Um, you know, Steven, Steven is my coach, etc. cetera. Um, I've got an idea. Um, you see this book? I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna translate this book into Polish. I'm gonna uh, sell this and it be, it be, it's gonna become bestseller and you're gonna become my business partner. I'm gonna bring you to Poland. He says, great, Daniel. Because of Steven, I will talk to you. Great, Daniel. And he took off his calculator. Let's see this. He took off his calculator and he has a calculator. He says, this is my best friend. 
Imagine I'm taking this. I'm oh, sorry. Taking this. Mm -hmm. And he has like a gold one, 24 karat gold. He goes, mm -hmm. my five minutes, it's worth. And he told me about uh, $12,000. Yeah. He says, Whoa. you have 10 minutes, but do not waste this 12,000. I said, okay, okay. And I told him, I pitched him that the book, blah, blah, blah. And he says, okay. You know how many people come to me and tell me that they're going to be business partners, et cetera, et cetera. Thousands. You know how many of those became business partners? I said, well, probably less than thousands. He says, 2%. Yeah, true. And I hope you're going to be in this 2%, mm -hmm. but I'm going to give you a tip to be in this 2%. Take action every day. Since I tell you, if I tell you something, you do it within 24 hours. No hesitation, no doubts, no fears. Just do it. I'm like, okay, he's going to sell me something now. <laughs> <laughs> and he did, actually. He did. He uh -huh. did. It cost me $50,000 to pay him for bringing him to Poland. But anyway, that's how I became business partner with him. But I had only 24 hours to make a decision with $50,000 wow. to pay him for his fee plus his first, star, first class tickets get the room, etc. for 1,200 people, it was like 10, 100,000 euros, you know? Mm -hmm. But cut story short, I became business partner with him, but took me five years walking like a chicken without knowing mm -hmm. what to do. If I had a mentor who will tell me, Daniel, I've done what you've done. I make so many mistakes. I know how to become business partner with two months time. I would rather pay him 10 grand, 15 grand to cut my time because in five years I do now like millions, <laughs> like a crazy amount of money. Yeah. Wow. But that time I was like not having mentors, didn't know who I can turn to. Yeah. And um, then the persistence is one of the mental muscles we have. Like we have a mental muscle bicep, mm -hmm. we have a mental muscles. If you're a spiritual person, I'm going to tell you a little bit about that. Yes? Okay. Because Bob Proctor always told me, Daniel, I'm not Bob Proctor. And you're not Daniel Konieczny. Your spiritual being who lives in Bob Proctor. He says, I'm spiritual being who lives in Bob Proctor's body. And sooner or later, I'm going to move to another shape or another person. You're Daniel Konieczny soul no your soul who lives in daniel konieczny body who has some journey and service to give in this earth and then he moves out and he says we've got six mental muscles he called this six mental faculty i i like wopathology you know easy language mm -hmm. that seven seven years old children understand me and adults understand me yeah that i don't come with the encyclopedia language you know what i mean yeah yeah i know what you mean yeah and one of those muscles is persistence and most of people don't train the muscle of persistent yeah it's like weak like mm -hmm. they are not persistent they they cannot be even persistent for a week or without sweets like mm -hmm. i'm without alcohol now since 20, sorry 20 of may last year i was on wow. week yacht party everyone was drinking whoa, whoa, whoa. i was drinking cola and pretending this is uh, with uh, with uh, jack daniels or whatever you know because i didn't want to stand out you know what yeah. i mean or, or on 40 birthday everyone was drinking champagne i was drinking no like alcoholic champagne but no one knows that then yeah. um it's basically persistent and the second muscle is decision some people can't decide either they want to drink coffee or tea and they're sitting and do I want this tea or this coffee? This, this. And, and I've learned this from, again, the book Think Grow Rich. You know, Andrew Carnegie, when uh, yeah. Napoleon Hill came to him, yeah. he had only 30 sec 60 seconds. Mm -hmm. And my decision must be with, within 60 seconds. And I really respect people who tell me within 60 seconds, yes or no. 
People who say maybe, oh my God, it's going to be long, long, long term and still not going to be proceed. Then I don't work with people who say maybe to me. <laughs> I just yeah. don't because they, they are time wasters for me and I'm time waster maybe for them. Then there's not, that's how I classified uh, how, how I work with people. Does that make sense? Absolutely. Absolutely. Like I ask you, do you want to do financial thermostat racket? The one, two, three steps you did. And you said, mm -hmm. yes, straight away. I'm like, this is the guy who trained the muscle of being decisive. Yeah, decision. But most yeah. people maybe who listening to this podcast or watching this are telling, oh, he's Mr. Whatever. Yeah, it happens because, sorry to cut you up. Um, you can see we do property trainings, right? Yeah. Um, sometimes you have about 200 people on the call. Sometimes you have maybe 250. Sometimes you have 50 people in the call. You will literally train them, show them how to make money. Right. Tell them, listen, if you go into this strategy, this is what you're going to make. All I ask you basically is to take a little step to join me in a paid event where I can explain everything to you. Believe you me or not, Daniel, out of those 200 or 500 people, only 1% will make that decision. Right. And then out of that 1% that goes to that event, Maybe only maybe 5% out of that 1% would actually, right, literally implement what, 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 what you've taught them. Or they are the people who would go say, okay, you know what? I like this. I want to jump onto a mentorship program. Then that then gets you to think why there are only a few people that are successful. Because as I just said, they are not decision makers. They always procrastinate. What, why they procrastinate? They're thinking about the worst case scenario. Right, but they would never thought about also buying stuff. They 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 literally buy it. They don't even think. But when it comes to growing themselves, here's the thing: they'll be like, "Oh, I don't want to spend that. I don't want to. I don't want to know what happened." But the people that make decision like that, they are the leaders of the world. They are the business people in the world. They are the successful people out there. I really really relate to what you're saying about what you just said. So I started a. A business not not long ago. This business is an online platform that allow homeowners to swap their home for holidays, hmm. right? For people who cannot afford to pay for accommodation, they can they can literally swap houses so they can stay in each other's houses, right? And uh, it's one of the cheapest platform out there. It doesn't require you to list your. It doesn't require you to pay subscription any contract. You only pay a little fee once you've swapped the property. Okay. So it went really, really hard, right? Really, really hard. We didn't have clients. You know, the internet is literally massive, but I did not literally give up, right? I literally worked on it. I marketing, I'm marketing it. And now we are starting to grow. People started to notice us, right? And again, it's all about persistent com com commitment because I had people say, you are in properties already. Why do you want to start something else? I said, listen, I started this home swap thing for two reasons. One, right? I went to Africa in 2016. I saw something that really triggers me. People walk on the road. They don't have shoe. They don't have shirt to wear. They don't even have houses, right? I said to myself, this is very sad. And I come to the UK. There are people out there. Apparently, literally 75% of the people in the UK cannot afford to pay for expensive holidays. So what I did, I said, okay, now to help the people who can afford to go on holiday because of accommodation, I'm going to bring that idea so they can swap their houses, right? From the little money we make from that, we then invest that to build houses for the homeless, right? So basically, that's how we, that's how we designed the um, whole thing. That, is, that business is now growing. It's called Flick Holiday. Um, if you want to reach onto that website, it's flickholiday.com. It allows you to kind of list your property and then obviously swap it for people who wants to go holiday in your in your country. So it went really tough. I will tell you that now. People say you are in properties already. There's no point in doing this. But I had a why. I had a reason, which, which is still pushing me to actually make that as a su successful business. That then drives me to ask you a question. Yes. You have, you have property business. You have mm -hmm. business coach. You have personal coach, right? You have multiple source of income stream, right? What would you say to someone who is about to start their investment journey or their business journey, right? What sort of advice would you have for people like that? Well, first thing is learn from the people who have what you want to have. Means yeah. don't go to people who talks through tell you what the book says and he doesn't have. 
go to people who already achieve what you want to achieve. Let's say if you want to do property, go to the guy who who has 100 properties and then he can tell you what fuck ups not to do or sorry, uh, mistakes not to do. <laughs> mm-hmm. And what and what shortcuts you can use or what kind of uh, technologies you can use in order to have your first 10 properties, then first 20, first 30, whatever you're starting from. Um, as well, I have a rules to myself and I would like to share this with all you guys. I don't know if you can see this. Can Six see? principle of success. Yes, I can say it. Yeah. And those rules actually I gathered uh, during the years and even the rule number six, I have a I have a right to do 10 fuck ups, no matter what I do, because I, I used to thought I have to be Mr. Perfect when I'm going to have a perfect studio, perfect video, perfect background, perfect, sorry, whatever, perfect shirt, whatever, then I can do. But it never becomes perfect because then you need to go to seminar who does perfect lighting. Then you need to go to seminars who has perfect cameras. And then you end up being Mr. Perfect seminars, but not having results. <laughs> then I says, I'm going to do somehow, but I'm going to do it. And then later on, I'm going to work on the quality. That's how awesome. I will start first. Do it no matter what kind of quality, but do it now. Do it now. Don't wait till next month or till you learn something or till you whatever. Just go for it. Like I went... Bam! I went to this property seminar. I didn't have a clue about properties. I just knew my house was repossessed, which I rent, and I need to get out from my beautiful home, which I decorated just recently. And I'm going for some seminar to find out how I can become owner of the of the of the property. Then the first first this. But what I want to share this with anyone who because um, I'm in interview by many different people like the Times, the Guardian, whatever. And they always ask me the same question. What would you give someone who's starting? And it doesn't matter. Is a property? Is a coaching? Is a... It doesn't matter what. Yeah? Yeah. And I think those rules will keep you going. I would say those rules will keep you motivated. Those rules will keep you focused. And I create those. Do you, do you mind if I share quickly? Of course. Yes, go for it. Yeah. Um, okay. The first rule is taking massive action, but not massive action. I mean, taking 100% of yourself into, let's say, the podcast. Or when I do after you, I'm doing uh, with the big uh, investor into Metaverse, I told you recently, uh, I invest at least uh, 10, 10 million pounds already in this project. It's a massive project. Yeah, it's good. But I'm going to be there 100% and I'm there 100%. Then whatever I do, I do 100%. Because if I do 50%, how much results are I going to get? Less than 50 if I do 100%, I know for sure I'm going to give results maybe 70%, but still better than 50. Make sense? Correct. Yeah. Second rule. Then, okay. Um, I always explain this on my seminars that if I tell you, you just knock your head and that's it. Game is over. <laughs> then you listen more. What you need to do physically, use your hand, use your hand or take your phone and say, in making calls to get new clients, do this with me, please. Do this with me, do this with me. Making calls, yes, or getting new clients, I'm giving 100% of of helping people, wherever you do the Zoom or making calls, you give 100%, yes? Of course, yes. But say, I'm giving 100%, please say this. I'm gonna give 100% in all the calls. Yes. In uh, negotiating, I'm giving 100%. Come on. In negotiating, I'll give 100%. In getting new, let's say, holiday homes, I'm giving 100%. Come on. Getting new holiday homes listed in my property, in in our website, I will do 100%. And for example, getting referrals over the phone from my existing clients, I'm giving 100% of my energy. 
getting re re referral from my client, existing client, I'll give 100%. Yeah. You see, now it's rule number one done. Okay. Because yeah. what I teach is called excellent learning. Because if I will just give you the slides, then you listen, but your head could be eating pizza or making love with your wife. You know what I mean? <laughs> you could be somewhere else. Then I use this. And actually, I've learned this when people doing this physically, they are actually implementing in the later on, not being even aware. That's called subconscious mind is remembering everything, but it has to go from physical point. Okay, second rule, quickly. Second yeah. rule is full focus and energy. This is uh, because we are worse than goldfish. Goldfish can focus how many seconds? Guess how many? Maybe half a second or two seconds? Seven seconds. Laser seconds, focus, wow. goldfish can focus and then next focus. We are worse than goldfish because of TikTok, Instagram, all those flaps. We are everywhere. And to channel my focus, I do this on the podcast. Full focus. Do this on the podcast. Full focus. Come on. On the podcast. On the podcast. Full focus. And energy. And energy. Yes, exactly. On, yeah. let's say, negotiation, full focus. Come on, on negotiation, full on focus. On negotiation, full focus. And energy. And energy. Exactly. In, let's say, sending, uh, uh, what do you call, uh, invoices, full focus and energy. Yeah. Yes. That means your laser focus. And I put the timer and I go 30 minutes and I just go laser focus and energy, which is intention. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The third one, I learned this from Richard Branson. You know, Richard Branson? Yeah. Yes, I do. This one, third one. And the third one is we went to Richard Branson 2011. At that time I met Andy, by the way. And I went, it was national, whatever called that national Achiever Congress, something like that. But anyway, um, Richard Branson, we pay 5,000 pounds. <laughs> and imagine CEOs, uh, big guys with suit and ties, Daniel as well, suit, tie, you know, all this wee thing. And mm -hmm. everyone is waiting for Branson coming and telling how he create 300 companies. Branson is coming out with two nice stewardess. <laughs> as Branson. And he came out and he says, do you want to find out how I create 300 companies and I serve billions and I become millionaire as you see? And everyone, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that was VIP room, yeah? yeah? And he took off the pen and he did this. We are looking at each other. What the fuck? Is that what I paid 5,000 for? <laughs> yeah. What the hell he smoked before he came on the stage? Yeah. And then he says, think and have fun like a four years old child. You're unstoppable. Now, I have a four years old daughter. You have a children? Yeah, I do. My, yeah. I've, yeah. I've got four, I've got five years and a, and a year old. Yeah. Then please put on the, uh, on the whatever uh, comments, if mm -hmm. you know four years old child, just put, I know four years old, I have. Yeah. And if you put yeah. the comment, that means you know that when you tell the child, when the child comes to you, daddy, can I have a sweet before uh, dinner? No, because mommy is making dinner. No, no, no. And then child give up? No, child goes to mommy. Mommy, Come back again, yeah. please, I love you so much. Can yeah. I have just one, one sweet? And I and, and, and then I wait for the dinner. No, because the dinner, blah, blah. then she goes to granny. Granny, please, please, I love you so much. I want to just one sweet. No, 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 mommy, uh, uh, your mommy says no. Then the grandpa, 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 I love you so much. Can I have a sweet? 
No, 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 no. Then she goes to sister. Sister goes, no, mommy told you, grandpa told you, everyone told you. Then she goes and Daniel is doing the, the podcast, yeah? And goes, daddy, 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 can I have a sweet? Okay, keep it, don't tell mommy and get out from the, from the office. Bam. <laughs> <laughs> how, many yet, how many no's she got before she gets first yes? Lots of no's, I get that. That is, makes sense. That's a really good sense. I, and I, I can relate that with my son as well. When he asked me, I said, no, he goes to my mom. He said, no, but he goes to someone else. Yeah. And then get it. It happens. You're absolutely yeah. right. But then we are adults. We have a suit and tie. We are 30, 40, 50. We are not allowed to play and play with notes. We are give up after first. No, we are closing oh fuck this phone is hot it's boiling it's scary oh i don't touch this phone anymore makes sense yeah we give up yeah yeah and then richard branson i know we have to finish quickly but let me just continue quickly on this richard branson says you need to be flexible i don't have a glass here but most people i used to uh, i have a glass oh you have a glass yeah the glass is what what yeah just touch the glass can you punch the glass? Yeah. It's what? It's hard, is it? Yeah. And if you will throw the glass, what will happen? It, it will break. It will break, exactly. Mm -hmm. But if I, if I have a belt, mm -hmm. if I have a belt, yeah? And if I, if, I, if I punch this belt through the wall, it's going to crash? No, it's going to smash, but it's still working because it's what? Flexible. It's flexible. And you need to be flexible. That's what Branson says. You need to be flexible having fun with no's. He had so many no's from the Boeing company telling him no, no, no. And then he finally got some whatever uh, people who helped. And he was the first one who installed the TVs in the, in the yeah. planes. Yeah, planes yeah. yeah, because he didn't give up. He had, the, he still says, I apply the four years old child mentality because you're flexible. And, and he says that you need to be flexible. But the rule number four, quickly, yeah. rule number four is I'm stepping out from the comfort zone. And what yeah. I mean by this, you need to do this every day. For example, maybe outside your comfort zone and my ass. We, I have soon interview, uh, what do you call them, um, uh, investor meeting, <laughs> but I'm still focusing to give the value to your guys on the yeah. podcast. Mm -hmm. It makes sense. Yeah. And I'm sense. laser focused and with the flexibility and having fun, we all know in sales or fortunately higher energy always win. True or false guys, true or false. True. True. Put the true. comment inside if it's true or false. Okay. And how to change energy is changing your thinking, your emotion, etc. Yeah. And I yeah. create this, but I learned this from uh, one experiment. They did this in psycho psychiatrist hospital uh, where people were drugic or people were depression or suicide thoughts. They put wood into their mouth. Look. They put wood into their mouth mm -hmm. and they make them smile a whole day like this and they reduce the drugs 50%. Wow. 50% of the drugs, you know, the antidepressant drugs, they reduce mm -hmm. because they were smiling fake because we have more than 50 muscles. When you smile, you think differently, then you you create different emotion, emotion creates action, action creates results. And I says, wow, I need to do this. And I remember ha ha yoga, ha 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 You know, I went to the monks and ha ha. But I know mm -hmm. everyone likes to drink. I says, I'm gonna create ha ha drinks, which will increase the energy. But before we do this, just quickly, because this is quite a good one, yeah. um, go to the depressed mode, go to the mode like, People don't want to buy properties from me mm -hmm. or there's not enough money on the bank account or I have to pay these bills and uh, it's like, and it's raining and blah, blah, blah. yeah. Your yeah. head is where? Yeah. Down. 
or up? Down, yeah. Your energy down. is down. Shoulders yeah. down, up. Okay. And um, okay, then you see, <laughs> you must be there sometimes, <laughs> like like I. And and this is true. Sometimes we are there. And on a level scale one to ten, when you are in this moment of depression or whatever or pre-depressed. Scale one to ten, how do you feel? You feel shit, basically. You, yeah, you yeah. Feel one, two, yeah. Maybe, one, two. Maybe one, one, two. Yes. Yeah. Put in the comment what what do you feel when you are in this mode? And now yeah. this technique will increase your level as long as you participate. Okay, Rahim. Yeah. Yeah. Bring your two hands like this. Yeah. And we're gonna drink your haha energy. Okay. You're gonna laugh out loud. And do that. <laughs> do this. <laughs> good, 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 good. Then we're gonna do three times ha 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 and three times drink it. Okay, ready? Yeah. And go. <laughs> <laughs> and drink it. <laughs> One more. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> give yourself a five, Rahim. Give yourself a five and say, I love a hard drink. <laughs> I love a hard drink. That is amazing. <laughs> now, I know it was outside the comfort zone, Rahim, yeah. for you and probably for you guys on the podcast. But is yeah. your energy higher or lower? It is high, definitely higher. It's higher, yeah. And when you go with that energy and you're making calls to get more referrals or get more deals, with that energy after the haha drink, it's a technology, basically, I create. Then I have different technologies which create results, instant results, not in the future results. Does that make sense? Makes sense, yeah. Yeah. Okay, quickly. Rule number five. Rule number five. Yeah. I don't care what you think about me. Five, four, three, two, one. I'm taking action now. Which yeah. means sometimes we have a haters in the house, outside, or on the social media. And yeah. I used to be, and that was three, four years ago, I had really big effect on me. Oh, mm. you don't know how to write, or you you making mistake with spelling, all that bullshit. Then I says, nah, 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 nah. F off, I'm taking action now. And the funny thing is, when you do this, the duck gets less stronger in your world. But you know what is the worst duck close to you? Not the outside one, not the social media one, but the inside one who's telling yeah. you, tomorrow you will definitely go to the gym. Tomorrow you will definitely start your podcast. Tomorrow you will, you, you will go on this or next week, definitely you're going to be prepared that you're going to go for this uh, mentoring with Rahim. And it's like telling you, and then you listen, and then you repeat, tomorrow I will go to the gym, to your friend, and who you become. You're not eagle anymore. You're a, nah, nah, nah. You're a duck. Yeah. You listen to the duck, and then you became a duck, and then you create ducks around you. But because I'm from Poland, we have a herb called eagle. Eagle is, the, is on our uh, flag. Mm -hmm. And eagles flies above the ducks. Yeah. And choose who you are, eagle or a duck. Yeah. And I know the duck has really big impact on you because probably where you are right now mm -hmm. is because of listening to the duck. How to change that? You need mm -hmm. to create um, lesser energy in the duck. And how I do this, let's say, Oh, this is pro this property is not good idea for you. For example, if this is guys who are on the podcast and the little duck telling you, "Oh, you're not smart enough," then this is strong voice. Yes or no, guys? Yes or no? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Then what you need to do is go. This property is not good enough, not for you. You are too stupid. You're not too. You're too old to do this. You need to create actually laugh from it. Then you punch, you go F off, go away, <laughs> and five, four, three, two, one, take action now. Bam, sign up for Rahim. Bam, read the book. Even get one page of the book. Read one page, but do it now. Yeah. Then 
you winning. You, small wins brings to bigger win. Yeah? Right. That's how I see this rule. And I always implement. That's why I have those rules, Rahim. Okay, I'm financial free. Okay, I have this and this. But if I wouldn't stick to those rules, I wouldn't be flexible on this, uh, let's say, uh, podcast. You understand? Because yeah. my dad was telling, switch off. Big, big uh, investor is waiting for you. Oh, Daniel, you cannot. Blah, blah. You understand? Yeah. That's the weed duck. Okay. Uh, rule number six, quickly. This one. Yeah. I have a rule to make 10 fuck ups, 10 mistakes. That when I do your podcast, I can make 10 mistakes because I used to have Mr. Perfect syndrome. When I'm going to have perfect script, perfect question, then I'm going to do perfect podcast. Bull S. People will buy you who you are. Making mistakes. Make, that's why when you told me what to cut, what... No, put everything. Everything. Everything put on because I, I'm just... I am now and I switch off the camera. I will be the same at home. And people actually told me that, yeah, I can see the difference between other trainers. When they are on the stage, they're funny, but then they sit and then, then run away. But you are going parties with us. You are going nightclubs, whatever. <laughs> Then I'm exactly the same crazy guy outside the podcast. <laughs> wow. And I tell you something, and I think that should be it. Um, mm. I have applied those rules. One second. Okay. Yeah, carry on. Yeah, yeah, carry on. You see this, guys? Three years ago, I had a motorbike accident. And um, I broke my um, spine. And uh, from T1 to T9, I broke um, 14 small bones, nine big bones, and two puncture lungs. Yeah. And the doctors give me 5% that are going to be uh, able to walk or even survive this, the operation. Yeah. I had to learn how to. This is my daughter's even feeding me in the, in the hospital. As you can see, I couldn't even move my arms. And I was depressed because my um, my daughter, this one, she was two weeks old. And I said to myself that I need to get out from this. And, um, and I was depressed. And my daughter told me, Daniel, daddy. Mm -hmm. Sometimes she called me Daniel for some reason, but that's okay. <laughs> she, she told me, um, you should teach, oh no, you should preach what you teach because you always say this. And I'm like, okay. And then I remember I have uh, all this rule, whatever I do, I have two things when I wake up, one productive towards my goal and one income towards my goal. Two, I have like all these two actions every day. It doesn't matter I'm on holiday or I'm in a, uh, seminar it doesn't matter where i am yeah i create this like a like a like you go to toilet <laughs> you have to go yeah. to toilet once a day yeah then i mm -hmm. have the same this one one productive one income and i do this before 12 o'clock one productive which bring me closer to my goal and one income which i earn money that's it i have to earn every day i learned this from jewish people they earn every day not every month not every week but every day and I said, okay. And that time I couldn't because I was vegetable. Wow. wow. I'm, I'm really inspired by that story. And for you to come from bro breaking your back to doing what you're doing now, being a business coach as well as a um, personal coach. And I know you've just mentioned you, you coach celebrities like Podolsky yeah. and, especially, and Zuma as well. So tell us a little bit about about that side of your business because i know you do properties you do you do what you went through the six principles that you normally do but how are you been able to transform people like that because i know zuma was, was in a dark place a couple of years ago about a year ago where he had a problem with with some certain things so how are you able to kind of change someone else's um depression mode into kind of a a a a, a superhuman mode so 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 to speak yeah <laughs> I do this with various people. Um, even um, I have a guy from Northern Ireland, Tom Smith, which he works with me for at least 10 years. He owns the dream apartments. Uh, 
But the most important, I remove all you or all Zuma or all Tom, whatever, which is bothering you or it challenged you or, you know, whatever situation was. Because sometimes we leave, we want to go forward, but we look on the back mirror and we are driving 70 miles an hour because business is 70 miles an hour uh, speed. And we're looking at the back mirror. How, how many miles we can run? We're going to crash either way because the car's driving, yeah? Then I, I remove all you, and that's what I did with other celebrities or multimillionaires, wherever. And then I installed the new future and I show them that there is a way of getting out from that situation where they can be. That's what I did with you. Previously, we had yeah. uh, the, the interview switch on. And then I create even 10 times bigger scenario, 10x, 10 times bigger than they are in the good mode. Make sense? Yeah. Like Kurt is getting those awards and da 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 and those football stuff and he's managing other people and then he's a manager for another team. I cannot mention what, which one, but, you know, after his career, et cetera, et cetera, then we go with the beyond. But how I do it is um, I do all this with intention. Yes. And yeah. I use different technologies, which the most advanced psychology, psychologists, um, even the Dubai, um, let's say Dubai government wants me to go there and coach other guys because I did some sessions and they says we went, one guy was going for one, two years to one of the specialists of the mind and you did this with one session, you fix him in one session. What the, f you know. <laughs> Uh, I cannot describe uh, what I do. I just know it's working and other people are sharing it's working. And uh, that's what Fantastic. I can say, you know, but... Fantastic. Thank you. It's Thank like you a shortcut that. of going to different. But I'm not saying I'm the best of the psychologists because there are great ones. I'm just saying that I have intention to help person in this one meeting because I don't know how long I'm going to live because... Mm -hmm. I already experienced, um, you know, the challenges and I could be somewhere else. Then I always leave that this is my, it's like my last day. Absolutely. I like that. That, 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 that is one of the reasons why I like about what I like about you. Your enthusiasm, your energy, you show that now draws me to you when, when I first met you. Um, what really keeps you going without losing your energy and your enthusiasm? What really keeps me going? Apply those six rules again. Sorry, but that this is true. Uh, you know, being flexible, have fun, uh, step out from the comfort zone. Sometimes comfort zone is for me being Mr. Quiet, listening, talking slowly, <laughs> because this is unusual for me. <laughs> but, you know, different ways with different categories. If I go to Stormont, which is the prime minister, minister, etc. I'm wearing suit and tie and I'm like, you know, I'm totally different, Daniel, there, you know, and I don't swear. Oh, for example, in Dubai, no way. I need to close my mouth because they don't accept even increasing the voice because it's like, yeah, then everywhere is different, but I'm applying those rules and how I change my energy. I think it's intention. Intention gets me going. Because I always go, God, give me the energy, the enthusiasm, and the courage to touch those people's lives. And, and then my mouth open and then goes, you know? Really? <laughs> That's how we have La this. Yeah, video. last main question before we go to the quick fire round question. In, mm -hmm. in the business world, property world, right? Social media and all our, our society. I see the problem of a first world um, uh, problem is overwhelmed. So many people showing in social media, driving amazing cars, living lavish life, buying houses left, right, and center. So how do you deal with overwhelm? Because you manage so many things, for example. And how how can people get rid of overwhelm and stay focused in their dream? Test the dream. Test the dream. Yeah. I used to have a Mercedes ML. Uh, Brabus on my vision board. I was dreaming about it. I was visualizing every day, visualizing every day. And then my client Ben came 
with the Mercedes ML Brabus. And I'm like, oh my God, this is the car I wanted. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Can you give me test drive? Yeah, here is the key. Go after a coaching session. Let's give a uh, drive. And I drove it and I didn't like it. I was like, no, I don't like the steering, all this stuff. And I'm like, I don't like it. I was dreaming for two years. Can you imagine, Rahim? Two years I was visualizing I'm driving this car and I didn't test it. When I test it, it figured out I don't like it. Now I have a Porsche Cayenne because I like it. Da, 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 all this. Uh, it's like Star Trek. It's my, my style, sort of. Yeah, I'm a little bit in the future. <laughs> but coming back to this, sometimes we can dream about something. But when we test it, let's say I was dreaming to have my own helicopter. Because John Boyle, my client, has the helicopter. Yeah. And I'm dreaming to have the helicopter. We went to Dubai. And... I find out that you need to have 70 meters or around like a plane to start this helicopter. You cannot just land wherever you want to land. You need to have a special staff to land and airport. I'm like, that, and I, I was nearly throwing up in, the, in this uh, helicopter in Dubai. Plus I find out buy helicopters 3 million and run the helicopter for full year. It's about 2 million. <laughs> 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 then you need to have use the helicopter not for just your ha 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 but for your purpose of making your uh let's say journey shorter more more productive and then will makes you at least 15 million if you invest 5 million minimum that's a minimum that's why grand cardon is flying his helicopter social media a lot but as well to different places. And that's why he has a jet and so on and so on. This is like a tool. And mm -hmm. sometimes we, we live in somebody else's dream. And when we are testing this, we figure out we don't need this. Yeah. I, I actually want something else. And, yeah. and when you, the answer to your question is, test your dream guys as soon as possible. And do not, do not wait till doc tells you, you don't have two million. What you, what I've done long, long time ago, I put two million on my back after this Bravo situation. <laughs> I put two million and I says, I'm going to test Maserati Gran Turismo. And the guy says, do you have a money? Yes, I do. I didn't have that, um, that time. <laughs> but I says, yes, I do. And I drove and I didn't like it. And I bought finally Mercedes S-Class when I was selling those properties in Scotland, wherever we had S-Class. That was on my vision board, mm -hmm. but I didn't specify my goal. Yeah. I didn't say, I said, I'm driving S-Class, but that was company car. I should mm -hmm. say, this is my own S-Class. <laughs> mm -hmm. Then sometimes be specific. I have a thing in my wallet. Let me show you mm -hmm. from yeah. Bob Proctor. It's called Gold Card. I'm going to give you all guys, if you text, if you reach me on my social media, mm -hmm. I'm going to give you this Gold Card. And I'm so happy and grateful now that you write down the present tense and then you sign here yeah. <laughs> and, and you put the goal and then you read this every day, 21st of July, 2024, that I have 200 properties in country. I cannot mention which one. Uh, <laughs> uh, I am um, making from the metaverse company minimum 100 million per month um the the london uh oh i'm speaking with tony robbins in 2024 yeah and sometimes goals don't change guys goals can modify it, but the dates do the dates do change because let's say my goal today is to have elephant this is my goal yeah big elephant this is my goal, like a helicopter. You understand? Mm -hmm. And my goal is to have animal called elephant. Now I live in Belfast. And I have a big elephant. Flapping 10 tons, whatever they are, big, yeah? Are they 10 tons, 5 tons, whatever, yeah? Mm -hmm. Big. I have a detached house. I have a, I have a good garden. But imagine if I have an elephant now in Belfast. I have lots of shit to shovel <laughs> because they make a big ones. Yeah. Um, my neighbors are telling it's something smelly in your garden. 
Plus I have probably broken garden because they wait a lot. Yeah. And my dream could be a nightmare now. But yeah. when I have a nice house, holiday home, which I give you to rent um, in, let's say, Thailand, where I have a guy who look after the elephant and he has his own big jungle attached to my house because this is free animal. I'm with the free uh, mindset. You know, I don't like things mm -hmm. hold with the rope and whatever. Mm -hmm. Then I can have my elephant. But if I have now, it will be disaster. My dream will be disaster. And sometimes people want millions now, but they are not ready mentally to have it. They are not ready Absolutely. what to do with it. That's why they don't have it. Because it will bring catastrophe on them, like this elephant. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah I like that. And the I same like that. happened. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it me. makes sense. It makes sense. So the same it's, happened depends, to me. It depends on the situation and what you want to kind of achieve. So I yeah, see. the same happened to me, my friend, when I had, um, when I sold the first property and I was working for this um, United Union still, mm -hmm. and I got the 25,000 pound check for selling the property. And I got the check, I'm like, no, uh, you probably make mistake. It's probably two and a half thousand commission for me. It's no, it's not mine. And they were like, no, 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 it's yours. I'm like, but you put too many zeros. No, <laughs> because my thermostat was on two and a half. Do you understand? For one yeah. cell. I couldn't believe it could be more. And then he says, yes, it's yours. Plus you sold five this month. You're going to get four of those more. Wow. I'm like 125 in one month. Are you crazy? And you know what I did? Of course, I didn't have a set up thermostat on that high level, then Rolex, uh, buying this, buying that, uh, Daniel, you know, <laughs> because my mindset wasn't ready for that amount. And I actually didn't even listen my big mentor in the property to not buy those properties. And I lost about half a million just like this because of my stupid ego. Mm -hmm. But because I didn't have the financial thermostat racket I, I was doing for others, but not for myself. Sometimes shoes maker has a hole in the shoes. Does that make yeah. sense? That's why you should always have a mentor who look at you from the helicopter point of view and goes, fix this, do this, do this, do this, mm -hmm. don't do this, don't do that. You know, that's what it's about the uh, mentoring. Yeah, I like that. I, I hope like we that. Thank the you. value, my friend. Yeah, yeah, of course. I'm, I'm literally, I'm just soaking it in. I'm literally sucking it like, like a sponge. Quick fire round questions before we finish. I've got a few. Summarize just one sentence or maybe um, a word about these quick questions. Best advice you remember receiving? Best. Yeah. Best advice I remember receiving was this one. Because I used to thought calculator is my worst enemy. I hate mathematics. That's why I'm not going to be a millionaire. And Bob Proctor told me, Daniel, this is your best friend. He never lies. He never lies. He will tell you true. This is your best friend. <laughs> That's it. I like I that. I remember this one. Uh, yes, because okay. Bob, Bob has the gold, 24 karat gold. Well, hard. Uh, 24 karat gold uh, calculator. And he always told me, because I had the personal one-to-one -one coaching session. I was paying $25,000 per quarter to have coaching sessions one-to-one -one with him. Not many people had this uh, privilege, you know. But um, worst advice. Whoa, you hit me with this one. Hmm. Okay. Worst advice was maybe, uh, I can see, don't invest in fields which you don't know. Yeah. Because when I um, when I want to create app for people that they you know move during the pandemic, someone told me you're good in uh, psychology, blah blah blah, properties. Don't go somewhere which you don't know. Mm -hmm. I says, but I get no good. But my one of the rules is full focus, have fun, step up. For, this is my comfort zone properties and being in a coach and this is easy for me i'm not gonna expand here and then i says i'm gonna go where i don't know 
and I went into I, uh, what do you call the uh, AI technology and all this metaverse stuff. And I we created the app, and the guy which gave me the advice now is whoa, he wants to be part of it, but okay. Uh, he told me, don't go there because you don't know this world. You're going to end up losing millions. And we actually created the app, which is in uh, 105 countries, 61,000 people uh, applying this app and paying $10 per month. We have 600, over 600,000 uh, turnover per month from just this idea, not listening him. <laughs> Brilliant. I like that. Um, who is your favorite sports star? Wow. Sports star. Favorite one. Mm -hmm. It could be someone who's doing sports now or someone who was a sports star. It doesn't have to be. Okay, uh, I tell you, because I met him. I did the coaching with him when he was totally small guy. But I don't admire him for that. I admire him for boldness. Conor McGregor, because he came to Belfast long, long, long time ago. It was pity I didn't uh, do any picture with him. Or I give him my, uh, my friend's telephone number because he says, oh, that was little dog telling me, you're not good enough with interviews because he wants to do interview with me. And I says, I'm not good guy with the interview like you do, yeah? And yeah. I give my... Uh, uh, Conor McGregor to Norik Kocharian, Polish guy, and he did the interview with him. And I'm like, and now I'm like, you stupid asshole, you should do it because now you will be like, whoa. But anyway, um, yeah, and why why Conor? Because he's bold. Um, you know, I, I love this one. Uh, I want to apologize. I want to apologize to nobody, which means he doesn't care what other dogs telling him. And this attitude, this mental attitude, I love about the boldness in the range that he's even giving Hawk to uh, what do you call the Putin or whatever that he can even lose his life for that. And, and that's how people see me because when I go to prime minister, I don't go Mr. Whatever, blah, blah, blah. I go, all right, and name, all right. And I go because I treat people on the same people. level, I don't go, you're Mr. Multi-Millionaire, and I'm, oh my God, you're so big, I'm talking to you, like, wow. No, I go, all right, Matt. And the same I will do with the person from who is starting and comes to me on the, let's say, podcast, webinar, and he, and I call him, I grab the phone, and I just call him on the messenger. Hello, Matt, how can I help you? Oh my God, you, no, 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 no. Tell me what, how, how can I help you? Then yeah. I don't... And Connor is like this. Mm. He doesn't go, oh, I'm, yes, social media, unfortunately, show him that way. Uh, that, yeah, he's cocky, all that stuff. But he's really, Tony Robbins actually mentioned this in his um, uh, challenge, that he's heart to heart person. And he really, really is, uh, you know, giving heart to people, not other way around. Of course, Rolex. Some people are going to say, oh, he's wearing Fendi. Yes, because I'm fucking Fendi fan. So what? I have everything Fendi, you know? I don't care. I can afford it. I wear it. That's it. But it's not yeah. about showing off. You understand? I know. I know. Yeah. yeah. It's just so um, so what, was your, what was your inspiration gr growing up? Mm, my inspiration growing up? I had the uh, auntie who step up from the rat race, which means my mom was the uh, school teacher. My second aunt was uh, doctor of paint, painting industry, you know, she paints beautiful paints and doctor, doctor, doctor. Everyone was like, wow. My father background was prison, stealing, killing, all that stuff, <laughs> unfortunately. Uh, you know, my father was like a mafia guy. <laughs> And my mom was like, opposite. And, and I had an auntie who wasn't in my father's world or my mom's, but she created businesses. And she was always creating, she had like a, a chips and fish in the, let's say, one 
swimming pool. Then she come up with idea, wow, there's more swimming pools. Then she create the chain of those. Then one big chain like McDonald's came and destroyed this. And then she opened some uh, factory. And then she was always going, going, going. And I always says, I'm going to be like my auntie. Wow. Fantastic. I like the way you end that. What's your biggest regret? Biggest regret? That I was waiting five years and I was looking for... Uh, no, I was... I didn't that I didn't took action faster on finding people who want to become business partner with Bob Proctor. I could go to Bob Proctor's business partners now and just go, what did you do? What I can do? And then I will find out, just go straight away, da, 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 pay whatever amount, but then you will have a first contact with him. Then listening people who achieve what I want to achieve much sooner and and regret as well that I didn't believe that the God does exist. That's the biggest regret. Is there something you, you believe that lots of people disagree with you? Disagree? Yeah. Well, now word change, but yes. Um, that we are creating we are uh, creating own matrix. Imagine we are like creators of our own world. And some guy says, everywhere you touch, it's a god. You are the god, actually. Yeah. And maybe so many people in the podcast are not going to believe me, but I see this. I say, I'm a God and I create my own world. And I have people around me who are, uh, you know, positive thinking, drinking haha drinks with me before we do sessions. And I just create this world and I have abundance of those people. And then yeah. I, I create who I want to work with and who I want to invest money with. And I just do this. And some people goes, you're crazy. What did you smoke? What did you, <laughs> whatever they took then I think maybe there will be disagreement with this. But the okay. biggest disagreement will be that we are spiritual beings living in Daniel Skonieczny or Rahim Ba uh, body who has the purpose, written purpose, what they need to accomplish in this life. This body of Daniel Konieczny, this body of Rahim, what he needs to do and what kind of um service he needs to do yeah yeah because absolutely. we are not spiritual havings we are not spiritual doings we are spiritual beings when yeah. you be yourself then you do what you love to do when you do what you love to do as long as it's helping others fixing their problems then you have what you want to have absolutely so i know you are a multi-millionaire you're doing really well in the property world you're doing really well in your in your, in your training businesses um does money change you i don't think so uh, i'm the uh, some people say you're crazy like 20 years ago <laughs> still the same yeah it does it does it's changed me in a way that i don't waste time anymore uh because I value my time now. When you don't make money, whatever, then you don't value your time. And then you waste your time and spending with some people which you shouldn't spend. But when you're making the money and people telling you, well, let's say the podcast, people pay me, pay me like, you know, 20 grand per day, let's say. Okay, when I do trainings for, for people. And mm -hmm. imagine the podcast is, I don't know, two hours. Yeah. Then... If my assistant will tell me it calculates, you know, in thousands, yeah, then we already give the value to thousands. That's yeah, it. Okay. Uh, that's the only way the money change you in the way that you treating or you feeling the value of time. That's right, the okay. only way. Uh, yeah. What else can do? Yeah, no. yeah thanks for that. Oh. That, that. That is a very good definitive answer. Is there something you used to strongly believe you recently changed your mind on? 
<laughs> wow, you you have very good question then. Wow, I'm amazed. Uh, Thank you. This developer guy is calling again, but that's okay. Um, yeah, again, it's about it's about saying yes to technology. Because I was Mr. Against when I watched this, you know, with the um, Will Smith about the robots and I, mm -hmm. I, I, E, whatever. And I was Mr. Against, against, against. But then Elon Musk told me, learn about them, learn how to cope with them. Then you can create better future if you know how to cope with them and how they are operating then either I can be against and be Mr. Against, or I can learn how to deal with them and know what tricks they can do for my people. Yeah, wow, makes sense, makes sense. Because I used to have the mindset, I'm not gonna touch this, I'm against this, go away, I'm not even touching this business because I'm against this. Now, actually, uh, the Elon Musk, I'm listening a lot, Elon Musk, he's so advanced and he knows what's going on in, let's say, 10 years time. If people really go deep onto his interviews, you can figure out those golden nuggets, which most people don't even see it. Yeah, absolutely. Is there something in the world you fundamentally think is wrong and you would like to change? Yeah. The energy. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to tell you something, guys, because this podcast is going to go years and years. It's 2023, what day? 28th of January, 2023. I'm telling you something in March, something in March, 2023. I'm gonna, not going to tell you the date. It's going to create massive revolution that the people gonna notice something amazing i'm not talking even about personal development people they're gonna notice a lot but i'm talking about people who never had a clue about personal development mindset and they're gonna freak out they're gonna totally freak out and unfortunately pharmacists uh companies uh they know this and they're gonna create campaigns again that something it's you need to take some tablets whatever i'm really against this because mother earth is changing their vibration to the higher vibration and people are switching on start like 10 years ago i was going with the taxi driver and he says oh i need to change energy in my house because my wife is so negative i need to send some positive vibration the guy is 60 years old telling me this in poland it's like what the you know, 10 years ago, when I was telling about the secret, people were thinking I'm smoking something or I'm like crazy about some law of attraction. And now the taxi driver, 60 years, it's not my age, but 60 years old taxi driver telling me this. Then the world is already changed. But wow. since March, it's going to be like a massive. And wow. all those are fortunately Illuminatis, blah, 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 whatever they want to control the earth they're going to put massive impact to reduce the vibration. They're already doing that. That's what I'm against. I'm against the whole lowering energies. Okay, I like that. Yeah. This podcast is called Property Investment Blueprint. What mm -hmm. does investment blueprints mean to you? Investment blueprint means something as I'm really associate with that follow the people who already done what you want to achieve and blueprint means for me it's blueprint not through your just talks not through your um website but through your results which your client has wow. and i always say don't judge me from the facebook or instagram because i'm really bad <laughs> but judge me from testimonials from the people. That's it. Fantastic. And, like and the that. blueprint is what you do. And I really feel it that you really have, like, I'm amazed what you told me. Maybe I give you some of my stuff. 
uh, my holiday homes. But what I'm saying is, you actually went, you see, because how we create business is so easy. People make this complicated. You find a problem, you find a solution for that problem, mm -hmm. you find the people who has this problem, mm -hmm. then you go to those people and you say, if I fix your problem, would you pay for a solution? If they say yes, then mm -hmm. you've got a business. Boom. So but really, most people like complicate that. this like, yeah. yeah. But you're a smart guy. You know the stuff, you went, Da, 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 then you create, say again the name, I need to write this down. Flick Holiday, F-L-I-C-K-H-O-L-I-D-A-Y.com or .co.uk. So that's, that, that, that's what we've created. F-L-A-K or C? No, F-L-I-C-K. Ah, Flick, okay. Holiday, one word, .com. F L I C K holiday.com. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah that's what. And the flick created. holiday, so what you create, yeah. you went, you've seen the people, because I help homeless people as well, because I have a rule. I have three, um, three jowers. Mm -hmm. One is, and I always repeat this mantra money comes to me easily and all the time from different directions, from different businesses. That's why I can save and invest. And then I put back. And then money comes to me easily and all the time from different direction. That's why I can uh, give and help others. And I put give, yeah, to mm. the give jower. And then I go, money comes to me easily and all the time from different direction, from different businesses. That's why I can save and give and help others. And then third jower is I can have fun for it. Yeah. And then I, after 30 days, this jower goes to savings or investments. This jower goes to give and I help homeless people. I buy socks and whatever. I don't give money. Wow. I buy some stuff and I give it myself because that's the true energy. And then and then have fun. I go, no, I can't go go-karting because I had this motorbike. But I go, let's say, um, some crazy stuff doing whatever just to feed my inner child. Because if you don't feed your inner child, your inner child goes, you don't care about me? You didn't go for paintballing because you have other property guys or whatever, or investors? F you, you're going to be late for this meeting. Or F you, you're not going to get this contract. He's going to do sabotage because you don't see him. That's why I always use those three drawers to feed my inner child, to give 10% what I earn to give others, and then 10% uh, to save for the golden, uh, what do you call, uh, golden doc account, whatever you call that, yeah? Mm -hmm. That's my psychology about the money. Wow, wow, yeah. thank you for that. Final one, if, they, if there was only one person you'd love me to interview, who will that person be and why? Grant Cardone. Grant Cardone. Why? Brilliant. Why? Thank because you. he has a mindset, totally different mindset, first of all. He doesn't say buy yourself a nice home, buy yourself a nice car and all that stuff. If I listen to him, I wouldn't do those stupid things <laughs> in the beginning, but I've learned. Um, he says, buy the house or two, three houses, which pay for your rent for your house. That's the, you see, uh, yeah, Grand Cardone, because you know the difference between rich mentally and pure mentally? There's small difference very small let's say we are making two thousand pounds two thousand pounds you and me or or there are two people let's say andy and michael yeah and andy is the poor mentally andy earns let's say three thousand pounds per month three thousand three zero zero mm -hmm. what he does in the beginning he pay the bills he buy himself a short, he buys this, he goes nice restaurant, da, 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 da. and what is left? Maybe he's safe, maybe. I don't think so, he's safe, but maybe, let's say. Andrew earns 3,000 pounds, the same amount, but he's mentally rich with his habits. Uh, what this habit is, I'm gonna ask you. Um, instead of spending it, he's kind of saving to invest for the long run. 
he put first on savings or investments and the rest of it, he tied the belt. I call this zaciska pasa, yeah? Tied the belt. No buying stuff, not going fancy restaurant, da -da -da, you know, live, whatever. And 10 years later, we are meeting those two guys. And Andy is rich. And this Michael, whatever, Matthew is still poor and still can find the savings even next month. Absolutely. It's just funny that, that you're saying that because if you follow me on my Instagram, YouTube videos, this is, oh, this is what I preach about, right? It's about storing money and, and invest living below your means because if you leave you below your means and you invest the difference, that's what gets you to where you want to go. What I tell my audience is basically is if you're not saving 25% of your earning to invest, you would work until you die. And if you're not making money whilst you sleep, you will work until you die. So you've just proved that concept to me, actually, by saying that, right? So you just you have to delay the gratification. You, yeah. you, you and the delay grand, it. And Grant is pitching this a lot, that yeah. don't buy yourself nice watches. And Look, I, I'm, I'm, oh, sugar. I'm wearing, what do you call, titanium, whatever, blah, blah, blah. But it's an eye watch inside. But the cover, mm -hmm. it's about 2,000 yeah, pounds or whatever, uh, dollars, sorry. But it doesn't have to be fancy. I, I'm a gadget guy. That's why I bought this one. But, but what I'm saying is I, I have a collection of different ones and more expensive ones, but I still wear iWatch because it calls me, it sends me emails. Da, da, da. It's more advanced than this, all those big ones in my house, you know? Of course. And yes, Rolex is growing, Omega maybe, and the other ones as well. But... I would rather, if I have this another choice, I wouldn't buy them. I will buy property. I will buy investment, which works for me, not yeah. showing off. What and an amazing way to end. Um, uh, that was a great special moment with you, Danielle. I really appreciate you. Thank you. Where should we follow you? And, and where are you hanging out in social media? If someone wants to have a personal session with you, a business coach session with you, what are the best areas we can literally, we, we, we could contact you? Yeah. DanielKonieczny.com, my name, my surname, and .com. If you don't mind, put this on the podcast under me, under me please. Thank okay. you. Uh, on social media, at Daniel Konieczny, uh, which is Instagram, at Daniel Konieczny, uh, official is the Facebook, and Daniel Konieczny is on YouTube. Yeah. Fantastic. This has been absolutely amazing. Thank you for sharing your life passion with us. I love your tenacity. I love your energy. I love all the literally golden nuggets I've learned from this. From this, this is the first. This is the first podcast where I learned. I was asked to do stuff, and I did it. So I loved it. Absolutely amazing. Thank you so much. It has been a great pleasure having you on the Property Investment Blueprint podcast. Thank you so much, and you giving massive value, inviting guys like me. When I'm gonna already because. You know, I'm working on some big guys for this metaverse uh, project. When we're going to create this and I'm going to have a contact with those guys, I will mention about your podcast. I will mention that they should get in touch with you, that they should give value uh, in terms of, you know, uh, you interviewing them. Then, you know, sharing is caring. I always come from that point of view. And when you share, you means you care and then you send others. And the guys who are on this podcast, please share, share or tag your friends, family. If you got some value, uh, show me that you got some value in terms of the mentality or my ways of doing things or Rahim share his value put as well. And as well, I'm encouraging you to apply when you watch this, apply this within 24 hours. Because after 24 hours, will be little dog telling you, yeah, this is bull ass. Don't do this. Da, 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 da. And it's going to reduce the amount of intensity of you taking action. I always say, when you want to do it, 
screw it, just do it within 24 hours. It doesn't matter what other people are saying. It's raining. It's a no good economy. Bob Proctor told me, and I create a seminar called You Create Your Own Economy. Because you yeah. do create your own economy. Economy was really bad when there was recession. Not recession. Recession, yes, as well. But what do you call this? Pandemic. Yeah, pandemic. I make, yeah. I make the best app during the pandemic. <laughs> <laughs> Who can tell me? Because I create my own economy, you know? Then thank you so much, guys. Sharing is caring. Share this. Add friends to this podcast, to those social media. We will be more. I think we're going to do another one because I would yeah, like course. to share, you know, the six mental muscles, which yeah. connects your soul to your body. Because actually, on the end, your soul wants your soul wants to communicate with your mind and your body and using those six mental muscles that you're going to live the best life in this body and and the, and the soul has those muscles to communicate with you that you will achieve what you want to achieve but sometimes we don't train those muscles sometimes we don't listen uh, and that's why we don't get it that's it Thank you so much, Daniel. I really, really appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. And God bless you. Thank you. High five, bro. Thank you. High five, bro. Thank you.